July is African American Bone Marrow Awareness Month, and we are learning more on how we can help those who are struggling with finding a bone marrow match. Our Ashley Howard sat down with OHSU's Dr. Anita Nomachek, who is the co-director of the Northwest Marrow Transplant Program. Let's find out more. Dr. Nomachek, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So your work is dedicated to this very topic, and we want to make sure that we are making a big influence on especially people of color getting on the registry for bone marrow donors. But right now, the number is currently so low on the registry. Do you think that's because of lack of education and knowledge that just keeps people from joining? I, I think uh, I think there are several factors. I think when people know what a bone marrow donation is about, uh, they care and they register. Uh, we need to do a better job at getting to our communities and telling them what uh, what uh, bone marrow donation is about, who helps, and um, also uh, the risk, which are not very many uh, of the procedure. Um, bone marrow is something that grows back on you after you give it away. So uh, different to any other organ, uh, you give it and it comes back. So it's pretty easy to to donate to another person. That's awesome because I and I'm glad that you said that it's easy to donate to another person because sometimes I feel like we don't realize the importance of it until it's knocking at our front doors. Is that correct? Correct. And that's true for every human. Uh, but I, again, I think we, we we have to reach people and tell them about about the process of donation. Uh, most people uh, feel compelled to help uh, if they are able to. Now, touching on this subject of getting people on the registry, especially because the numbers for the BIPOC community are so low, I feel like we, we have to kind of touch on the distrust of the medical community that exists in, in those communities, especially the black community I know from personal experience. How much of a role do you think that plays now in 2023 and, you know, plays into people not getting on the registry? Because some folks might think of it as a problem of the past, but I think that it's still very prevalent in 2023. Yeah, so I, I think probably to answer that question, I can walk you through what, what a donor goes through. Uh, after you're informed about, about potentially joining the registry, the first thing that happens is that you undergo a very nice information uh, session where they explain to you what that means. You swab your own cheek, you send it to the registry, uh, your name gets in there. It's like a phone book uh, uh, that that if somebody out there matches you, you could potentially be called one day. For example, I, I signed up in 2000 and I'm still waiting to be called. I I, I don't I don't match anybody, uh, but some people get a call right away. And and then you undergo an information process where they explain to you what they're doing. Uh, you consent to it. It's not something that's done without you. Um, and then you decide if you're going to donate or not. Uh, we like donors that are engaged, that, that the ones they, they, they sign up, they take that step one day. Um, I, I think trust is important in every relationship. And there are a lot of reasons historically why communities of colors um, uh, do not uh, feel trust in the medical system. Uh, we're trying to change that every day. I'm, I'm a Latino doctor. I, I, feel, I feel responsible to make sure that my patients learn to trust me. Uh, and that I understand the reasons why that may not be the case. Uh, I, I think, I think being honest, um, telling people what to expect, telling people the importance of why, why they're doing what they're doing, yeah. uh, engages people and regains that trust back. Absolutely. And, and, you know, we're trying to do our part over here uh, on our end because sometimes people feel like it's uh, misinformation given by the media. And so I just want to make sure that everyone uh, is out there getting this information for yourselves, because sometimes we also have to dig into uh, the information that we're getting and dissect it for our own uh, good. So I thank you so much, doctor, for being here. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Such important and valuable information on this Friday show. Big thanks to our sponsors over there at OHSU.